Caleb, you see the firefighters? We're gonna go see the forest fire. So we woke up this morning with a lot of smoke around the cabin and I was driving out towards the main road and there's fire trucks everywhere. They are doing a controlled burn through all of the forest area right by the cabin. And so we thought it'd be neat to take the kids out to meet the firefighters, to talk to them and ask questions and learn a little bit more about the process. And I wanted to learn some too. Is it a bumpy road? So you guys, here's the fire station. Do you see all these tracks? So, um, why are you guys bringing a fire in near the houses? Okay. So, you see all this stuff right here? All these yeah. little trees and yeah. everything? Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to get rid of. Why did you even choose to do this kind of work? I chose because I like helping people. Um, I drive around in a big red truck. Um, I like to go out into the woods, you know, meet a lot of people, fight different fires in different states. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. That's why I chose this. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. No we love you! <laughs> Fire danger for today is low. Alright, so here's the firefighters and here's the cabin. So they are right here on the cabin getting ready to go in and do this burn. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little nervous because if it gets out of control, that's a problem. Caleb, you see the firefighters? That is a ponderosa pine. So how did it go to meet the firefighters? I like it. Yeah? We got to see some march into the forest. Whoa. What do you think of that? I kind of want to be one, like a forest firefighter. So we found one of the firefighters and she's kind enough to like answer more of our questions and look at the map and tell us what's going on. So Jamie is actually here from San Diego doing it like your whole crew from there? Um, How does that I'm work? I'm by myself for this. I'm a fire effects monitor. Wow. So I watch the burning that they're doing and making sure that it's meeting the objectives and not burning too hot. Oh, cool. So you're going to make sure that it doesn't turn into a uncontrolled fire that yeah, burns that, down all of our cabin and everything. Um, meeting the resource objectives they want so they're not burning it too hot, not killing trees. Well, thank you for doing that. We're so. really grateful for Jamie keeping us safe. So we'll let you get to your job. Thanks thank so thank much. Thank you. We're going to go see the forest fire. So when I was growing up, my family owned some property up not far from here in the mountains. We would come and we would camp every year. And when I was around 19 or 20, it all went up in flames in a forest fire. It was devastating. I remember going and seeing it and it was just all black. And it didn't just burn down. I mean, it was a huge forest fire. Thousands of acres burnt down. Well, the wind is changing. We're gonna back out a little bit. Hello. Thanks for your help. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, one of the activities that I've been wanting to do with the kids is a nature Play-Doh activity where you make this like herbal tea scented Play-Doh and then they get to play with the Play-Doh with all these nature items. And I thought the cabin was the perfect place to do this. One. Well, we're not going to eat it, it, Laura. Can you stir it? We're making Play-Doh, Laura, to play with. After you stir it, could I stir it? After my turn, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So our next project is that we're building a moat for water to run through this pathway. It's kind of a pretty rosy color. All right, it is starting to form into Play-Doh. So this is the flour and the tea from inside the tea bag. Woo! Is it hot? Yeah. It's warm. It is warm because it just got out of the stove, huh? Mm. It's pink. It is pink. It's kind of a rosy pink color. So Elise made herself in Play-Doh. Uh-huh. This is awesome. my bow. This is my hair. Eyes, eyes, nose, and mouth. I love it. Oops. What are you working on over here? I'm making a birthday party for Pull the trigger and go for it. Pull it out. It needs to go about right there. Good, good, good. Pull it up. So my poison ivy looks pretty bad. I haven't shown you guys a really good look at it, and if you don't wanna see this, just skip ahead a few seconds, cause it's pretty gross. But I wanna share this and remember for myself that this was really a pain. Uh, it hurt really bad, but when I went into my doctor's visit um, for them to take a look at it, I really came away just feeling so grateful for my health, because I was healthy in every other area, and I just think of those who have ongoing sickness or ongoing health problems like I just feel so sad for people in that situation because health is such a blessing and that's something I know I take for granted all the time but um, often having some kind of ailment or some kind of pain reminds you how wonderful it is to normally be healthy all the time. Mm. Have you seen my my poison ivy? Ooh, that looks bad. Yeah it hurts. When you, it looks like in a heal, healing process. I hope so. Yeah. Because whenever Ellie's are read it, it, it means that they're healing. I hope so. Caleb decided to take a break from working and come play with Play-Doh. Hey, sis. No, we don't eat Play-Doh. Animals just eat Play-Doh? No, animals don't eat Play-Doh either. Play-Doh's just for playing with. What's this one, Lacey? A lollipop person. A lollipop person. Is this the cabin? Yep, this is a tree and this the flower and then the door and a window and the chimney, the concrete. It's someone at the ball. It smells a little weird. It does smell a little weird. It's got herbal yeah. tea in it. Here's an animal eating. That's an animal eating? Dad, this is my little design of my thing that I'm gonna build. So this is your model. Yeah, my little model. What's it gonna be? A little cabin for me. I love it. Where are you gonna sleep? Oh, I forgot to make the bed. Where do you keep all your tools? They live in the garage right here. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Caleb's oh, right doing there. a puzzle. Oh, doing a puzzle with Grandma? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm eating an apple. Did you finish it? Yep, this is it. Ooh, what's your favorite animal on there? <sighs> the wolf. If you've gone back and looked at any of our vlogs when we're here at the cabin, which there's several, I need to make a playlist because they're fun vlogs, but we always have tri-tip when we're here. It's a family tradition.
Well, the kids are so excited. Their cousins, Kendra's sister and their family are coming up to the cabin. by the fire. Wildfires are not a thing we deal with in Kansas City. I don't know why this is fun, but it's fun. How deep is it, Cub? Not too deep, I can tell. 